Fox News announced on Monday morning that the popular primetime host Tucker Carlson and the network have agreed to part ways after more than a decade. Carlson's last program was Friday, April 21, Fox News said, meaning Carlson did not get a chance to sign off to his viewers. The news comes days after Fox News reached a historic 11th-hour settlement with Dominion Voting Systems for over $787 million, Axios reported. Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways. We thank him for his service to the network as a host and prior to that as a contributor. Mr. Carlson's last program was Friday, April 21st, Fox News Tonight will air live at 8 p.m. slash ET starting this evening as an interim show helmed by rotating Fox News personalities until a new host is named, Fox News said in a statement. Fox News Media operates the Fox News Channel, FNC, Fox Business Network, FBN, Fox News Digital, Fox News Audio, Fox News Books, the direct-to-consumer streaming services Fox Nation and Fox News International and the free ad-supported television service Fox Weather. Currently the number one network in all of cable, FNC has also been the most watched television news channel for more than 21 consecutive years, while FBN ranks among the top business channels on cable. Owned by Fox Corporation, Fox News Media reaches nearly 200 million people each month, the statement added. Fox News made headlines last week when it announced that host Dan Bongino had parted ways with the news network in what is a stunner to his fans and fans of the top-rated cable giant. Folks, regretfully, last week was my last show on Fox News on the Fox News Channel, the host said on his podcast Thursday Variety reported. It's tough. It's tough to say that. You know, I've been there doing hits and working there for 10 years, so the show ending was tough. And I want you to know it's not some big conspiracy. I promise you. There's no acrimony. This wasn't some WWE brawl that happened. We just couldn't come to terms on an extension. We thank Dan for his contributions and wish him success in his future endeavors, the network said. It said it will air Lawrence Jones' Cross Country, in place of Bongino's show until the network announces a new schedule. The news comes as speculation, which is unconfirmed, points to two popular hosts possibly getting the axe, Radar Online reported. Dylan Byers, who founded Puck News, has predicted Maria Bartiromo and Janine Pirro are going to be the two hosts that are going to be booted. Some other reports have suggested, without any substantial proof, that even host Sean Hannity could face some sort of warning. But, Byers said, there is a chance that they would not be fired but given a stern warning to be careful of what they say in the future. So I anticipate one of two things will happen here, or has perhaps already happened, the first possibility is that Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott sits down with Bartiromo and Piero and anyone else who came up to the line of libel and says, be careful, he said. Alternatively, Rupert and Suzanne have already decided to elegantly and eventually show Bartiromo and or Piero the door, he said. He mentioned that Murdoch said during his testimony that it was not Fox News, but certain hosts who made false statements about the 2020 presidential election. Not Fox, no. Not Fox. But maybe Lou Dobbs, maybe, Bartiromo, as commentators, Murdoch said. Some of our commentators were endorsing it. If I'm, Bartiromo, that feels like the kiss of death, Byers said. The last thing on earth that Murdoch wants is to leave himself vulnerable to another $787 million headache, he said. If you're trying to avoid future libel lawsuits, that's not exactly the kind of person you want on camera, he said.